Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube. Attack, what I have for you today two. is a game called World War III. here so content wise uh game really doesn't have much in the way of content right now it only has four maps um enemy artillery fire incoming. and two modes one being uh tdm and this is war zone mode our uav is online over the area friendly airstrike incoming Um, so as shooters go, it's pretty hardcore. Kills are very quick. Um, I'll get on that in a bit here. Enemy UAV overhead. Right now, I'm just going to show you some gameplay. I'll talk about more about the Our game here in a little bit. Online over the area. Our um, graphics. I don't feel the graphics are all that bad. Um, sounds are fairly good. Um, Objective Bravo One is under attack. Objective Alpha One is under attack. Area Bravo is under our control. Objective Bravo Two is under attack. Trying to do a sweep here. Our UAV is online over the area. Attack Objective Alpha Two. Enemy radars are being jammed. Our units are taking hold of Objective Alpha Two. But so Enemy you got two different modes. You got approach. TDM, which is basic, basic Enemy TDM. UAV you overhead. just run around, kill an enemy, the enemy. And then you have uh, war zone mode. This is actually war zone mode. And the idea here is kill the enemy and take objective points. Enemy tank spotted in your area. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemies have overrun the Bravo area. Our units are taking hold of Objective Alpha One. Down. Squad leader down. Enemy airstrike fast approaching. Our units are taking Shut that hold of Objective up your Bravo ass. One. Our UAV is online over the area. Be advised, kind of got a campus area right now because we're trying to capture an objective here. Enemy airstrike, fast approaching. Online over the area. Friendly airstrike incoming. Ladies. 
Really? Not gonna do much talking about the game right Objective now. I'm gonna try to do more focusing attack. on the game. I'll talk about the game in a bit though. Just trying to give you some gameplay here so you can see what the game is, what what it looks like. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy airstrike, fast Defend approaching. Enemy radars are being jammed. I just leave gameplay wise at that because honestly, I don't really like this game. Enemy UAV overhead. And I'm going to explain a couple reasons why here. So while the graphics are pretty good, the sound isn't bad. Um, it, it it takes some things from essentially Call of Duty, um, and Battlefield and kind of combine them together. One thing is there's actually a lack of content in general. Like I said, there's four different maps, two different modes. Not a whole lot there to play with. The game does have quite a few guns in it. Um, the idea is basically you battle, you gain money, you gain experience, and you get better guns. You have to pay, purchase the guns, you have to purchase the accessories, yada, yada, yada. Um, now, the nice thing is about how they did the accessories is, for the most part, if the accessory can go on a gun, the, the accessory goes on the gun. Basically... You buy a grip, it's open for all the different guns that it fits on. Same way with the gun sights, so on and so forth. There is different types of ammo. There's different types of body armor. You're actually limited to a kit amount loadout. Um, that's really all I can say about that. It's it's essentially it's based on what kind of class you take. If you take light, heavy, or medium. Um, now there's benefits of going light, but there's also downfalls of going light. Same way with medium. Same way with going heavy. Now, most of the time, you're just going to go medium anyway, uh, just to be honest. Um, well, downfalls about the game. Well, the, the major downfall about the game is it's it's got a lack of content. Um, the game normally runs for $28. Um, like I said, sometimes you can get it on Steam for... Uh, around sixteen fifteen dollars um, it, it's it's a first person shooter and it's not necessarily the best first person shooter out there um, so let's see there's the lack of content the game glitches are pretty horrendous uh, some of the game glitches are game breaking such as when you respawn you actually respawn and fall through the ground um, sometimes you can shoot someone about a dozen times and they won't fucking die. And that's even if you're using the proper armor piercing ammunition. Um, I've shot people and been shot through thick concrete reinforced walls, such as what you'd find in a bunker. Uh, I'm sorry, but a 556 bullet can't penetrate thick concrete wall. Um, you know, it's, it's only going to go through so far. Um, so the pen, the cover penetration mechanics are horrendous. Um, I've had moments where I was shooting a plink of wood and my bullets wouldn't penetrate. But as I said, I've shot through concrete already with 556 ammunition from the HK416, um, and vice versa. I've also been shot through, you know, shot through heavy cover, um, or what I would consider heavy cover. And all in all, it's just a copycat of, of Battlefield 5 or, or, or a Battlefield game, not necessarily Battlefield 5 or a COD game. Uh, you know, hey, kudos to them. They came up with a catchy title. The graphics are pretty good. Uh, there's absolutely really no reason to get this game. If, if you already get the Call of Duty games, you've already got a Call of Duty game. Um, and if you play Battlefield, you got Battlefield. You, you, you don't need this game. Uh, th this is this is a niche that just isn't there. 
Uh, Server-wise, the player base is... Now, the game is in early access as I'm making this recording. But uh, server-wise... You can either get in a match in 30 seconds or you can wait 10 minutes uh, with most of the most of the average time being two to three minutes, if not longer at times. So getting games can be a really long process. Uh, there's, you know, and then there's off times you can take up, like I said, 10, eight to 10 minutes. Um, at that point, I'll just go play something else. Um some things are not really well explained, especially in the, the weapons, uh, weapons, uh, weapons customization, which I also get on with the customization part too. Uh, but there's, you know, you buy a grip, you're going through the grips and there's 20 different battle grips and you're not getting any upfront statistics on any of them except for how much they cost. Uh, the interesting thing is, for the most part, a lot of accessories cost the same. So most of the grips cost the same. Uh, most of the red dot sites cost the same as other red dot sites. Uh, but there's no... They do have different statistic advantages and disadvantages, but it doesn't really cover that. Um, I've dealt with server desync already, which is uh, when it when you do deal with desync, it is absolutely horrendous. Um, it is a slightly more hardcore uh, shooter game, but in all honesty, I can go play COD. You know, that's that's my problem with this game. I I don't. This game was a waste. Uh, so you can go play COD. Um, there's a lot of problems and stuff that's broken in the game uh, that needs fixed. There's stuff that needs to be pr better presented in the game. And in general, the game needs more content. Four maps and two different game modes doesn't do it. And on to game modes, there is also no single player mode. The game is actually titled World War III, but essentially there's no reason why it's titled World War III. Outside of the fact that they wanted to title the game World War III, I've got no information on what happens. What what what, what happens here? You know, do, is is there some kind of what what happened? What's the destabilization in Europe? Because the game is set in Europe. Not quite sure where. Uh, and there's no, you know, and you can't you can't really call it World War III when. I believe it's actually like Russia versus Poland or something like that. You know, it, okay, how is it World War III then if it's only those two countries? But I digress. Um, honestly, for a World War scenario, uh, Call of Duty with the Modern Warfare series did a much better job on that where you, you get the British involved, the Americans are involved, and so on and so forth. By Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the French were even involved. Um and just just in general, the Battlefield games and the Call of Duty games are superior games. Do yourself a favor. Don't waste your money. Don't buy this game. Just go buy a, either Battlefield or Call of Duty. But anyway, folks, I, I realize I sounded a bit salty and a bit toxic about this game. But honestly, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a bad game. Anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed the replay. I... Uh, like to say thank you very much for watching if you like the video hit the like button um if you have any comments uh yeah you know where to put them anyway folks thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you for the next video